Hi, it's Megan from John Ball Zoo, and I am bringing you this video from my house, which is actually kind of perfect because I'm going to show you how to do an activity that you can do at home. Um, this is a really cool activity that uh, has inspired a lot of my campers and students to do some of their own research. It's called an ethogram. An ethogram is an animal behavior study that you can use on your pet. You can use it on any sort of wildlife that you see outside, whether it's a squirrel or a groundhog. And and the way that you do it is you um, observe your animal and write down what their behavior is every 30 seconds. We do this at the zoo so we can make sure that our animals are uh, behaving normally. We can look back at back at our records and see if their behavior has changed up at all and I'm doing it with my dog Desi today because we have moved to a new house and Desi is still getting used to the backyard so I want to make sure that she's becoming comfortable in this new space <laughs> it looks like she's getting some good sniffs in before we get started so what we're going to do is we're going to start out by um, writing down some notes and I've done this already before we got started. Um, I wrote down her species, which is a dog. She's a mixed breed. Today's date is April 1, 2020. The weather is 48 degrees and cloudy. I'm the observer. She's a female. You might notice that in male and female groups, they behave slightly differently. Um, the location is my backyard and the note I wrote down for myself is that it's still um, my new backyard and she's still getting used to it. So what I'm going to do is write down my start time, which is 1.25 p.m. And at 00, I'm going to start a timer and record her behavior every 30 seconds. So let's head over here because that's where my animal went. And we'll get started. So at 00, I'm going to hit start and write down that she's walking. And then in the next 30 seconds, I'm going to write down her behavior again. So this is a great way for us to make sure that we have a baseline of what our animals' behaviors are. We might notice that they're behaving slightly differently and that could lead us to um, some conclusions that maybe there's some health issues going on or we need to set up their exhibit in a different way. And in 30 seconds, she's standing and sniffing fence. So, so far I've got two entries already and I'll be writing in another one in seven seconds and I'll keep filling this out. I'm going to go for eight minutes and then I'll check in with you guys when we're done. I finished my ethogram after recording Desi's behavior every 30 seconds for eight minutes and I got some really great data. I got that she was sniffing around quite a bit, which is really normal for a dog, especially in a new area. She got the zoomies a few times. As you can see, she wore herself out. Uh, she barked at the dog uh, on the other side of the fence once or twice, which is pretty normal for her. But I think the most important thing that I discovered with this ethogram is that her behavior is pretty consistent to that in the old backyard. So that tells me that she's probably pretty comfortable here. But an ethogram is something that you can repeat on multiple days to make sure that Desi's behavior is normal. I hope this ethogram inspired you to do your own at home, whether it's on a wild animal in your backyard or at a park or on your own pet. Whatever animal you decide to use, tell us in the comments below on how it went. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day.